Okay, in this video, I just want to tell you about a feature um, that's new in the TI Inspire CX2 CAS. So it's not going to work on the CX CAS um, or the, I guess, ClickPad CAS prior to that because um, it's an operating system thing and I guess it requires some sort of hardware. I kind of doubt that, but it's the way it's working. Um, so this is for the TI Inspire CX2 CAS. Um, and what we can do is we can actually disable the CAS. So you can do this in both press to test mode and just when you're using the calculator. So first I'm just gonna show you if you're using the calculator, uh, you press menu, um, option three is the algebra menu to so get all of these things. So solve, factor, expand, zeros, um, all of that. So if I need to solve an equation or factor something, uh, let's solve uh, 3x plus five equals two and we're gonna solve for x. So we get that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna disable cast mode. So to do that, I need to go into the settings. So I'm gonna press dock and then option seven and then option two. And you can see we have a bunch of things. I'm gonna press tab a bunch of times, uh, angle, blah, blah. Here you go, cast mode and it says on. So what I'll do is I press to the right, arrow down until it's off, press enter. I'm gonna press enter again. And now I'm gonna try so one thing I can do is I can just uh, paste this down and try to do it. So press enter and I get an error and it says cast, comp uh, cast computations are restricted in cast off and exact arithmetic modes. So it's not gonna work. Um, and if I press menu and go to algebra, for example, you can see all these things that are grayed out and they're grayed out because they're not available. So um, this is if you're a teacher and you worry about your students just using cast to solve everything um, and you're not just doing like calculator and non-calculator assessments, uh, you might use this. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, so I'll get derivative at a point and integral. So I have to fill in the bounds there. Uh, but all these other things are unavailable. Gives you a really good sense of what's available on the non-cast version of the calculator, I think. Um, so this is in uh, just generally using it. I can re-enable it. So doc seven, two, arrow down until I get here once to the right and then uh, arrowing up. I'm gonna turn it back on and it'll work again. Uh, it's hard to show press to test things here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the uh, emulator to get the window up. So this is, uh, if I were going to put a calculator in press to test mode, this is the window that would pop up on the handheld and I can select the functionality, blah, blah, blah. Um, the key thing here is that there's a drop down and I can choose if I want cast mode on, if I want it off. Um, so you can do this and press the test and then you know do whatever you wanna do without the cast. Uh, I think it's a big deal, so I wanted to share it. I hope you found this helpful and good luck.